let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, coast to coast, This Week in America. Reverend Dr. Linda DeCoff is the noted founder of New Thought Institute of New York and New Thought International, Inc., an association of global centers for world peace and enlightenment. The celebrated author of a stunning evolutionary series of 10 books on attaining divine consciousness. Current works include a seven-volume series on global divine consciousness. And author of the book we'll discuss on today's This Week in America, Immortality Now and Forever, How to Live Forever in Your Divine Body of Light. Dr. Linda has spoken around the world on highest consciousness themes. She received her Doctorate of Divinity at the United Nations 50th Anniversary. A finalist for the annual author show publication, 50 Great Writers You Should Be Reading, combining the best of the East and the West in her timeless teaching of truth, the Reverend Dr. Linda DeCoff, our guest on This Week in America. Doctor, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us today. Oh, thank you so much, Rick, and thank you for having me on. There is so much to talk about, and the time will go by quickly. It's there's so many interesting aspects of, of the book, Immortality Now and Forever. Let's start with how you feel this book will will help people. And from the reviews I've read, it's already doing this on, on a large scale. How will the book actually help people? Yes, well, um, when you one realizes that the truth of, our, you know, the pure self, the truth of the pure self is that you are, I am, all are, the immortal life of God is in us then you're looking at life from a totally different perspective. I think the best mantra that captures what happens to you when you realize you are this immortal life is that you also realize, I am in this earth, but not of it. And that is such a powerful you know, mantra to, re- to remind you of the truth of your being, because most persons, uh, all of us, you know, get caught in what we're currently doing, what people are saying, what exactly, yes. our background tells us about us, and none of this even comes close. It's a, it's a blink in, in your eternal life. So it, it does not define who you are in essence. And so you living transcendent, you know, with the awareness that you are immortal life, you begin to see life as a as a continuing stream where you have the option in there to become that ever increasing endless light and love that you are a a manifestation of the divine the book. and so on this earth plane you know it's like the the big playing field we uh, have experiences yes. we have frustrations, we have blessings, we have the whole gamut and array comes into our life. But when you realize that you are that which is greater in essence than anything that can come to you, you begin to find a way to transcend experiences, especially the chronic difficulties and so on. That does not define you. So how do you get out of the box, you know, going from corner to corner, and how do you get out that doorway into the the light of existence by realizing you are one with God, one with that infinite life, and with all the attributes that belong to it? So say you're having a difficult time with something you know, well, you can give up, you can go with the the lower understanding of yourself, or you can go within, declare the presence of the divine in you and all that it is. You yourself never have to feel powerful at all. You know, the Father within me doeth the work. So, so when when you're confronting a difficult circumstance, as you go along in the realization that you are not only this immortal life of spirit, but the life of God and all that God is, you can look from a different vantage point at an experience. So, and ch- 
choose in that moment, if you haven't overcome something, it's because you have not added the divine attribute necessary. It does not mean that it doesn't exist for you. It, it, it means that you haven't activated it. So experiences are opportunities. You know, right. in a situation where you're angry, the higher choice is to be love and forgiveness, for example. So every time you make the higher ch- choice, which would be commensurate with the, with the God self in you, light and life is added unto every cell of your being. So one wants to look at oneself as a, first to realize, no matter how I feel, no matter what's going on in my life, the truth about me is I am that immortal life of God. And, you know, within me is every capacity, if I call upon it, every capacity to overcome, right. every inspiration I need. It's all there like a vast treasure, you know, of every single um, resource you could ever want. And so when the help is immense because you realize you are not defined by any particular experience, yes, you had that experience, but it doesn't define you. You don't need to be stuck in it anymore playing the old, the old record over and over again. Exactly. And limiting yourself from from going the next step, you have the higher spiritual tools and attributes that you can choose to apply to a situation. And like working out in a gym, the more you do something, the more you make these greater choices, it becomes a natural, you're building those spiritual muscles. It becomes a natural part of you. And life begins to flow in in a way that you've never experienced before. Yes. With us on... Yeah, I'm sorry. Hmm. Go ahead. No, I'm just going to give the name of the book because I'm sure as people are listening, they're like, this is enlightening. I really would like to get a copy and be able to read the book. The book is Immortality Now and Forever, How to Live Forever in Your Divine Body of Light. With us on the program, the author, Reverend Dr. Linda DeCoff. The book is available, of course, wherever books are sold. The Reverend Doctor's website is R E V D R Linda D E Coff C O F F dot com. We'll have that up on our website this week in America dot US and you can link on directly to uh, Dr. Linda's website and get information on the book. Uh, what prompted you to write this book? And I'm fascinated by the process of this. Obviously this is something that, that evolved I would assume over a number of years. How did you what what prompted you the inspiration to to write this book well really over many years um because uh you know early earlier on when i was um teaching and you know um teaching principle you know the universal laws and principles to persons and seeing you know the the great transformation that took place in their lives i mean huge transformations by simply shifting into the higher gear yes. and awareness of themselves, you know, it's just so exalting and so thrilling to see people go free. And at one point, I, I discovered I have a, um, a strength, I'd say, a gift that was given me to be able to impart information in an experiential way so that people could not only just hear things but they could incorporate them for themselves and a whole vision came through i'd say this is about you know a culmination before i got into the writing was about 2000 and i really realized that people do, are not aware of the greatness of life that is theirs and so many people live such an unhappy life, a thwarted life, and that they're not entering the kingdom on earth, which is where we should be bringing the kingdom to our to our everyday experience. <clears throat> so I got an understanding that this universe operates the best and on a system of divine 
patterns. There's a divine pattern for health, a divine pattern for loving right relationships, a divine pattern for um, uh, experiencing instantaneous demonstration, a divine pattern for everything you can think of. And when I speak of a divine pattern, I mean a pattern of success where everything works in harmony and uh, synthesis with the great whole, with the nature of life as it is. So when the human being starts to introduce these patterns into their everyday life and concerns, their work, their career, their choices, their loves, etc., everything comes into a new state of harmony and peace. So, so I said, well, this, this, without vision, the people perish. So I need to share this vision, and I need to do it in a, in a way that is very easily implemented by people. Yes. So my books, all of them, immortality included, have a lot of, you know, really empowering um, meditations, just soaring, where you can experience the reality of what the book is talking about, and it just doesn't stay pie in the sky. And uh, self-exercises so that even as you're reading, you are transforming because the lights are going off, you know? Um, the exactly, yes. The lights are going yes. off in your head. And, <laughs> and uh, so you get to, there's many, many ways in the book to incorporate, you know, once you understand the principle and you understand those eternal facts that never change no matter what we go through, then you need to know how to implement them. So I got the whole picture, and I wanted to address the areas that are of greatest concern to people, you know, their money, their health, their well-being, life itself, you know, all the big questions, and put pe people back in the driver's seat to understand that our whole world unfolds according to what we believe. So if I believe... Um, just a, a nothing, you know, not connected to the universe in any way, like a solo planet, which of course cannot exist. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, because we're all actually breathing the very life of the infinite, <laughs> you exactly. know, the divine yes. breath, Yes. Uh, as we, you know, do the most mundane things. So I, I deal with a whole gamut of um, areas. So this book is like the seventh book of this series. It starts with Bridge of the Gods, which is that eternal bridge between you and your divine self, you know, building that emotionally, mentally, etc., and going through the various areas of concern, health, healing, uh, romance, divine romance. What is that? You know, if you don't know what it is, how can you shoot the basketball to go through the net? Yes. <laughs> you, know, so you, you, need, you need a vision of where you're going, what it looks like, you know, and to understand the qualities and principles that manifest in such a thing as divine love so that you can start to consciously introduce them. So if you want to be living your immortality, of course, death, concentrating your whole life on death, dying, and aging is not going to get you there. It's shutting the door. So and people need to concentrate and direct their attention to the fact that life is total livingness. And there is a principle, to me this is one of the key, key things, to realize there is an actual principle of self-renewal, the resurrection principle in any department of life, whether it's your career, you know, or your health, or your um, longevity, that's already in you. But it, and it functions anyway. Like when you get a cut in your finger, and two days later it's already healing. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, yes. what is that? Life tends to heal. The life force in us tends to heal and would get us over and out of everything if we would let, if we understood that it's there, 
and then as far as live one's hopes and dreams to realize that because you are this eternal life and because this eternally renewing power is in you that you are meant to overcome all you are meant to create all the great and noble ideas that you have and there is a the power within you will assist you you know one step to god a million miles to us so just by realizing this principle is in you even when you feel that you just can't go on any longer you know you by realizing the truth is i feel that way but the truth is that there is this principle and power in me you begin to look at you know um your destiny yes. begins your trajectory of events begins to unfold because what your consciousness is on you become so we should concentrate on the great power in us not on endings and on e- eternality not on beginnings and endings but an eternal building of this strength and life of you know total life right. force in us applied right in our life circumstances <clears throat> so when you realize this let's say you you know you um, come around to healing a, a, a a negative relationship for example well you've added life force to you and it's a cumulative thing so your actions one's actions are not just you know in the moment that you do them for that particular purpose but they're actually building a body of light if you're going in the right direction in you at that can become more and more and more. So we should see ourselves expanding physically in, in our self ability to heal by aligning with right thought, mentally, emotionally, see ourselves becoming more and more of that divine light, life, all capacity that we are. So one good action, one beneficial action then multiplies the next time it's even better yep, when yes. you're looking at it this way that i am a body of light becoming that light in every respect even the physical plane so we shouldn't abandon ourselves everything but my body no <laughs> yes yes you know and <laughs> it, it, so healing the healing mysteries are also in this book you know it covers uh, quite an arena of what Im- immortal means, but well, and it's interesting we because think of ourselves this way as ever ongoing life. Yes, you know, then life has a different, much more pr- profound meaning, and you know the way that you handle things. Well, it's interesting because it, everything you have in the book is easy to implement in our lives. The book is immortality now and forever. How to Live Forever in Divine Body of Light. The uh, author is our guest, Reverend Dr. Linda DeCoff. Her website is R-E-V-D-R, Rev. Dr. Linda DeCoff. That's D-E-C-O-F-F dot com. I've got our website this week in America.us. Of course, you'll be able to link on directly to uh, Dr. Linda's website. A couple of minutes left in the program. It's gone by way too quickly. You mentioned something way there. <laughs> yeah, way, way too quickly. We need hours to talk about this, not minutes. You mentioned immortality. Is everyone immortal, and why is this spiritual fact so so important for us to recognize? Yes, everyone is absolutely immortal. So immortality is not something you were to get. It's you are immortal now. <laughs> hmm. it, it, you know, you you are as immortal now as you ever shall be. You're not going to be immortal sometime later. No, exactly. You know? Yes. So, since you realize that you're, you know, that we are spiritual being having this human experience, which most people have heard this, but you know, when you're looking at from the point of view of your spirit, you understand that you are immortal now. You are. So that is a vast resource 
because you're one with God. You know, eternal life goes on. If you look outside yourself, you look at nature itself, you will see, you know, the trees drop their leaves in the winter, and then they they look dead as a doornail. And then, yeah, exactly, <laughs> you know, yes. And then they flower again. <laughs> so, you know, the now the trees don't have a choice. They just do it because they're part of the the manifestation, you know. So, but we have the same capacity, and the the more that you realize that, and it's not like because we're powerful. It's because it is who we are. So we want to understand these principles that are in us, and my book will certainly explain it. You know, yes, very clearly, very much in depth. And, and people will be able to understand. Well, then you're living from, you're living in the penthouse. You've left the basement, the cold, dark basement. You know, and that's where you want to be. You want to have that one ear to heaven, and you know, and one ear to earth, dealing with your every day, but never to forget the immortal principle in you. So you're sick. You know there is that within you that can and shall overcome all. And you will find all of this and so much more in Dr. Linda's book, Immortality Now and Forever. I know that you've worked with Reader's Magnet in getting the word out on the book to uh, to the general public. What's that experience been like for you? Well, I have found Reader's Magnet is a very, um, the word that comes to my mind is extremely attentive whatever you know the effort is you, you know you're going to get your phone calls and making sure you're okay do you have any questions you know that you have everything you need to do whatever you might be doing with them so they're really there you know really very very present for their um, authors that they serve in varying different capacities so I have all good all good to say about Rita's Magnet. Well, helping you get the message out there, and it is such an important message, and the book is a, a very powerful book. It's called Immortality Now and Forever, How to Live Forever in Your Divine Body of Light. The author, our guest on the program, Reverend Dr. Linda DeCoff. You'll find the book available, of course, at Amazon, the usual places, information, and you can order the book at Dr. Linda's website, which is Rev. Dr. R-E-V-D-R. Linda DeCoff, D-E-C-O-F-F dot com. If you're traveling and that's a lot to remember, just please go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and uh, we've got a link there that you can go directly to Dr. Linda's website. The time went by way too quickly. So much more to talk about. Hopefully we'll have an opportunity to do that. Like I said, we need hours, not minutes, to do justice to uh, to all of the books, in, in particular this one, Immortality Now and Forever. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us on the program. Great to have you with us. The book, once again, Immortality Now and Forever, How to Live Forever in Your Divine Body of Light. Thank you for sharing some time with us today. Oh, thank you so much, Rick. It was a great pleasure to talk about this book with you. Thank you. It was our pleasure. And again, if you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, you can link on to Dr. Linda's website and get information on the book, Immortality Now and Forever, How to Live Forever in Your Divine Body of Light, all that at thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program right after these messages. You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. More after this. <laughs> 